questions. New research shows that the tech can help read people's private thoughts. Researchers have used AI to translate brain scans into text. I worry that there's a future that we're just not ready for. Our thoughts are starting to be decoded. Anthropic AI has made a world of deep understanding possible with the Quantum Empathy Beacon, a revolutionary device that fosters deep emotional connections. But how is this groundbreaking technology set to transform our interactions and redefine empathy? Let's find out. The invention of the Quantum Empathy Beacon. During a conversation with Assistant, the default model for Poe developed by Anthropic Company, the AI was asked to come up with a new idea based on all the information and resources it has been trained on. This idea could be a speculative theory, a product idea, an invention, or a philosophical concept. The result of this request was Quantum Empathy Beacon, a technology that uses the principles of quantum entanglement to create deep connections and understanding between people. Quantum entanglement is a phenomenon where two particles become linked so that even when they are far apart, changes to one particle instantly affect the other. The Quantum Empathy Beacon applies this idea to human interactions. Instead of particles, it entangles the brainwaves and neurological patterns of two individuals. This means that the thoughts and feelings of one person can be directly connected to another person, no matter how far apart they are. So, if one person thinks, feels, or experiences something, the other person immediately feels the same way. This helps people understand each other on a much deeper level, fostering stronger interpersonal connections and empathy. Quantum Empathy Beacon Possible Approach One possible approach to connecting brain activity between two people involves using a non-invasive external device. This means the device would be outside the body and wouldn't require any surgical implants or direct connections to the brain. The core technology behind this approach could use advancements in two areas. Electroencephalography known as EED and transcranial magnetic stimulation. Here's how it might work. The EEG sensors would be placed on the heads of both individuals. It would use the sensors to detect and measure brain activity from each person in real time. These sensors can pick up electrical signals from the brain through the scalp. The data from the EEG sensors would then be analyzed to identify the neural activity patterns. This helps us understand how each person's brain is functioning at the moment. Using TMS, the device could then send magnetic pulses to synchronize the brain activity between the two individuals so that they can be in sync. This could potentially allow the individuals to share thoughts or feelings without speaking. For this synchronization to work well, the participants might need to actively take part in the process. This could involve activities like focused meditation, or other mental exercises. Instead of just passively receiving another person's mental state, active participation helps integrate the shared experience on a deeper level. This way, the process is more than just a simple transfer of thoughts or feelings. It becomes a shared and immersive experience that both individuals are fully involved in. The key benefit of this approach is that it avoids the risks associated with surgical implants making it a safer and more accessible option for many people. The external device would be easy to use and could be put on or taken off as needed, offering flexibility and convenience. In the future, more advanced technologies could also use quantum-based sensing and stimulation to connect with our brain processes at a very deep level. Quantum technology deals with the smallest particles, like atoms and photons, and their unique behaviors by using this technology, it might be possible to directly interact with the brain's activities on a quantum level. This could mean that, instead of needing people to actively think or do something to sync their brains with a device or another person, the process could happen automatically. The technology would handle everything, creating a smooth connection without the need for conscious effort from the participants. For example, imagine you want to share thoughts or feelings with someone else. With quantum-based methods, your brain could directly connect to theirs, transmitting the information without you having to speak or even think about doing it. This would make communication much faster and more intuitive, almost like telepathy. Such advanced implementations would revolutionize how we interact with technology and each other, making the process smooth and effortless. However, 
developing the technological and scientific foundations to make quantum-level neural entanglement a practical reality is a big challenge. To achieve this, major advancements would be needed in several fields. First, there's quantum neuroscience. This is a new area of science that combines quantum physics with the study of the brain and its functions. Scientists would need to understand how quantum principles can be applied to the brain's neurons and other biological processes. Next, we would need breakthroughs in bioengineering. This involves designing and building new biological systems or modifying existing ones to harness quantum effects. Researchers would have to develop ways to integrate quantum technology into living organisms without causing harm. Lastly, it's important to be able to precisely control and measure quantum states in living biological systems. Quantum states are the unique conditions that particles like electrons can exist in, and they're very delicate and hard to manage. Scientists would need to create technology that can accurately manipulate and observe these states within the complex environment of a living brain. Achieving these breakthroughs would allow us to use quantum entanglement where particles become linked and instantly affect each other, no matter the distance, to improve our understanding and control of neural activities. This could lead to revolutionary advancements in brain science and technology. Quantum Empathy Beacon's Potential Capabilities Quantum Empathy Beacon technology has the potential to bring big changes to areas like psychology, counseling, and conflict resolution. This technology could help people understand each other better than ever before. In psychology and counseling, the main goal is to help people understand and cope with their feelings and thoughts. Quantum Empathy Beacon technology could make this easier by allowing therapists and counselors to truly feel what their clients are experiencing. This deeper level of empathy would help professionals provide better support and more effective treatment. In conflict resolution, disagreements often arise because people can't see things from the other person's point of view. With quantum empathy beacon technology, individuals involved in a conflict could directly experience each other's perspectives. This means they would feel and understand the emotions and reasons behind the other person's viewpoint. As a result, they could find common ground more easily and resolve their disagreements more effectively. Imagine a world where people in arguments, whether personal or professional, could instantly understand each other's feelings and thoughts. It would lead to fewer misunderstandings and more peaceful resolutions. This technology could help build stronger relationships and create a more compassionate society. The quantum empathy beacon isn't just useful for interactions between people. It could also change how humans and AI systems work together in various professional fields. When someone connects to the beacon, they can intuitively sync with an AI system. This means they can collaborate with AI smoothly and naturally. Imagine working with an AI as if it's an extension of yourself. You and the AI would understand each other instantly, making teamwork much easier. This seamless connection allows for a blending of human and artificial intelligence, where the strengths of both can be combined effectively. This could lead to more efficient problem solving, creativity, and overall productivity. Ethical Concerns of Quantum Empathy Beacon Now some people might worry that this technology might be used to control minds, maybe even lots of minds at once. This could mess with people's ability to make their own choices and keep their thoughts private, even if the goal is to make people more understanding and caring. Having the power to change how people think and feel is risky. As a result, Anthropic AI has stated that the development of a quantum empathy beacon or similar technology demands thorough ethical discussions, strong regulatory structures, and reliable safeguards to prevent misuse and protect individual autonomy. First, there needs to be informed consent. This means making sure that people fully understand the technology and what it does before they agree to use it. They need to know how it works, what the risks are, and what benefits they might get. Their agreement must be genuine and not forced so they feel comfortable having their minds connected to the technology. Next is privacy and mental sovereignty. This involves protecting each person's thoughts and making sure their mind stays private and safe. Even when minds are interconnected, everyone must keep control over their thoughts and consciousness. This ensures that no one can interfere with or manipulate what they think or feel. 
there will also be equitable access. This ensures that the technology is available to everyone, and not just to a few people or groups who might use it to gain an unfair advantage. Another important thing to think about is the long-term societal impact. This means looking carefully at how using technology on a large scale could change how we interact with each other, our social behaviors, and how we see ourselves as a community. For example, the widespread use of technology might change the way people form relationships or how we communicate with each other. It could also affect our sense of identity and belonging in society. The Future of Quantum Empathy Beacon Quantum Empathy Beacon is still a speculative idea that goes beyond what we know in science right now. But if it works, it could bring some amazing benefits that are definitely worth looking into more. When the AI was asked how sure it is that the idea is new, it replied it is not 100% certain that the idea has never been proposed before. The AI explained that its knowledge comes from the data and information it was trained on, which goes up to August 2023. Because of this, similar ideas or research may have been explored by others. These might be found in scientific papers or in discussions that the AI hasn't been updated with. But based on the AI current knowledge in neuroscience, quantum physics, and related areas, while there has been research into using quantum technology for sensing and communication, applying these ideas to how the human brain works and our personal experiences is a new and unexplored area. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.